Sponsored by BookTrib.com, too many people with painful gut symptoms are ignored and belittled even though gut-brain disorders affect 40% of Americans. Recently, I spoke with Dr. Douglas Drossman about a new book he's co-authored, which is a helpful and compassionate guide. <laughs> some time with Dr. Drussman today, and my question for you is, sir, I didn't realize that 40% of Americans deal with issues in terms of their gut. You have a book titled Gut Feelings, and my question for you is, uh, why has that been going on for so long and so many of us suffer with it, and then why are women belittled and, I mean, just treated like non-citizens for having issues with their gut? Doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, well, these, these disorders are very common. You just said 40%. Uh, basically, these are the common symptoms, abdominal pain, constipation, diarrhea, what we call irritable bowel syndrome. Mm -hmm. And they are extremely common, but they're not diagnosed by x-ray or endoscopy or blood tests. So what's happening is it's done by the symptom patterns. And the problem with that is because you don't see anything, when patients complain about it, sometimes they don't think it's as legitimate. Sometimes they say it's stress, which it, it isn't necessarily stress, and they often say it's psychiatric. And women in particular have traditionally been viewed as when they report symptoms that it must be in their head, and they're told to relax or do yoga. And the problem is the doctors are not properly diagnosing or treating these conditions. Unbelievable. It just see it's just unbelievable to me. And as I look over your book, it's interesting. Uh, if you don't know, the good doctor here has published 15 books, but most of them have been for doctors to read and other doctors to learn from. This is an interesting book in that it not only works with the doctors, but it also works with me and you. So it helps us to uh to maybe learn something in the process and think like a doctor. Why did you write the book, Gut Feelings? Well, for just what we talked about, uh, it basically, I was translating this for patients as well as doctors. I mean, I noticed in my practice and in my career that patients who were suffering with GI pain and bowel difficulties weren't getting proper treatment. They were being mishandled. They weren't properly studied. So what I wanted to do is to educate doctors, patients, and the general public about these very common disorders and how to treat them. You know, I also realized that what's critical to making this work is the patient-doctor relationship. Uh, you know, as doctors get busier, they're often required to see more patients in less time. Uh, th th we haven't really taught them how to properly interact with patients. That's why patients sometimes feel not heard. And the studies show that when there's good communication between the doctor and the patient, their symptoms improve, both doctor and patient are satisfied, and their quality of life is better. Makes all the sense in the world. Let me ask you a question. Where can I get the book? Well, it, the book is available on uh, on our website, uh, which is uh, romedross.video slash gut feelings website or on Amazon. Well, doctor, I'll tell you what, like I said, there is a group of people in this building that cannot wait to look at this book. Thank you so much for writing it, the time you spent with us today. Hopefully, you can make some differences in some lives of a lot of people. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Name of the book again, Gut Feelings, Disorders of Gut-Brain Interaction and the Patient-Doctor Relationship. And it's available for you at therome.foundation.org. That's therome.foundation.org.